In the Dark Knight Rises, Gordon says, and all this evil rising from where we tried to bury it, the Batman has to come back. And then Bruce says, what if he doesn't exist anymore? Gordon says he must, so, you know, in Dark Knight they conquered the Joker, and in life that's the thing, you can conquer one form of evil, but then another form of evil will always rise, so, in order to fix the society, we have to be like Blake, challenging people, correcting people, even people that are leaders, you know, people you look up to, by everything, you know, Blake challenged Gordon, he challenged Bruce Wayne, and it's, and it's because of Blake, he gave Bruce that first push to go and be the Batman again so you know it's not offensive to correct people more and more people actually corrected one another the world would be a better place but most people have just lost their balls have, are just offended by being corrected instead of taking it as a compliment yes in some ways it's wrong when people like being nosy but people need to use some common sense and actually stand up to people on the social and political issues and sometimes for example, parents argue. If kid interferes in between an argument with a husband and a wife, between a husband and a wife, some kids will be slapped in the face and told to be quiet when a kid has a right to correct their parents if they're not saying an example. So that's one example of where correcting is necessary. And some people are going to disagree and say it's between husband and wife. That's sheep thinking, might disagree. Some elders need to grow up and then it's the majority of them. So the point is, that's one example of correcting. And there are many examples where you can correct people sometimes as a friend. Think of the way, look at the way Blake's challenges people throughout the film. So, okay, another example of correcting is sometimes your friend, you're witnessing a family argument happen. Sometimes you have to step in and interfere if the family aren't sorting out themselves. And that's the last resort. Are you going? Are you going to be just choose not to say anything, and then? You're gonna live then you're gonna just tell yourself it's not your business and then you will make a difference or you're gonna be like blake that steps up every time so think about that but anyway in regards to um you know bruce dying and stuff how he used to be in his prime and he doesn't think he'd come back some people will feel that way maybe some fires will feel that way if they want to come back from retirement or a person retired early in business might want to come back so the thing is if people are telling you to come back, it doesn't matter, you have to believe that yourself and the way to believe that is by meditating, by training your body, even at 70 you can train your body, some people can do intense exercises at 70 that 20 year olds can do, don't tell yourself you'll, you'll not improve with age, always tell yourself that you will, so this is the thing, your thoughts are power, I bet you if Bruce Lee was alive, he would be able to train until the day he died, if he was 90, for example, if he lived to 90, look at the super speed and strength he got. That hardly, well, there's no proof that anyone else has achieved it. So that's the thing right there. You place no limits in yourself, and then you can achieve it. So if you want to come back and be the old you, tell yourself you can become greater than the old you. Don't just tell yourself you'll be the same you. But the way to believe that is by telling yourself that but sometimes you need a push from other people and that's what people did and Bruce got pushed by Blake by Alfred um, and by that guy in prison that told him fear is a useful weapon or something which I'm gonna talk about later when I do a video on that later so I can't remember the quote I do apologize but it's a good quote now I can see he rose up so you know sometimes you don't have the luxury where people nudge you and push you but it doesn't mean you can't rise up but when you feel broken and stuff, it's hard. But all you have to do is not quit, focus on not quitting, and then wait, and don't rely on feelings to, on, when I say don't rely on feelings, don't rely on feeling confident or badass, just focus on not quitting, and then whatever you feel, just accept it. But the confidence will never go if you choose not to give up. It may, it may not be there at first, I'm someone that knows that, because I never had any confidence, but I do now. And I just know in a year's time, I'm going to be so badass. So, thing is, just don't quit. Focus on not quitting. That's all you got to do. Even when you don't feel confident, focus on not quitting. And when you focus on not quitting, the confidence eventually comes and it'll never go. If you choose not to quit. And even if it does feel like it's gone, if you focus on not quitting and ignore your feelings, then you are confident in my opinion. You're unbreakable.